catch y'all with another video. And of course, you see my gear, you see my background. Sports talk again with your boy. So, I'm getting a little more professional with this shit. I'm writing down my topics now. Um, you know, there's been a lot of crazy shit going on. It's been like no football, no basketball. And so it's not really been a lot of news. So they're trying to basically make news on ESPN and everything. But I got you guys. I'm going to give you all the news from my perspective. You know, the first topic is uh, OBJ in his interview with uh, GQ. <laughs> Look like he snitched, basically, he was saying about everything in the locker room, oh, the Giants don't like this and that, and they wouldn't be nothing without me. It just seemed like a whole, it sounded like a female tweet to me or something like that. No offense to my ladies, uh, but uh, Odell Beckham's kind of showing his female tendencies a little bit, so I don't really like that, and I don't really like when players just go and they talk about, you know, the locker room or whatever the team camaraderie was, like, I don't really like players who do that. It shows a female tendency. And, um, okay, we also got Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons then got paid five years and, like, 100-plus million. So, congrats to Ben. And, um, hey, man, I'm, I'm here to tell y'all, I really think Ben deserved it. I mean, seeing his injury history and everything he's been through, um, I, I think Ben deserved it. And, um... I think the Sixers going to have a good uh, future ahead of them. Dang, my shadow. I just noticed my shadow. I'm going to have to give me a little, a little, couple of more things. Uh, I got my light. I got my lighting pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have me a mic next. Um, you know, I'm going to just keep upgrading the channel. Um, I'm going to buy me a laptop. Well, I got one, but I want to upgrade and get me a camera for my birthday in September. So, I'm on the move, guys. And uh, So, Ben Simmons got paid. Odell went to GQ, ran his mouth about the Giants and everything. We didn't really like that. The Chargers are still dealing with the Melvin Gordon issue. I, I'm i a firm believer. I think they're going to end up trading him um, because they know that Phillip Rivers is on his last leg. So I'm guessing they're going to just be like, we'll just move on to the future or whatever. So I think Gordon is really hurting himself more than helping himself, even though I think he deserves his money. You know, I've been having uh, Gordon since his rookie year in fantasy, so that's like four years of having the same person. So he's a great player, but, you know, you're going to get paid or you're getting paid and you can't wait and you're trying to put pressure on a comp on an organization with millions, man. Um, it never really works out that well. I mean, some people it does, some people it doesn't, you know. Pacquiao Whip Thurman. Hey, I'm here to tell y'all, man. Um, I'm a firm believer that uh, Pacquiao was juicing. Not before this fight, but, you know, before in, in general, I think he was juicing. Uh, Pacquiao, been, he's been tested positive for, uh, you know, performance-enhancing drugs. I'm not saying that's anything. I mean, Edelman's been... <laughs> Edelman, uh... A lot of football players have been uh, tested for that. But, I mean, it's, come on. Uh, for the Pacquiao fans, Pacquiao fans are loving it. 40 years old, beat him up. Where's the rematch with Floyd? And knowing damn well Pacquiao cannot touch Floyd on no type of level. But that's for another day in boxing topic. But um, I'm a heavyweight fan myself. You know, I like Deontay Wilder. But, you know, I have to look at that and Pacquiao knock dude out. So that was pretty crazy. Um. The Spurs hired Tim Duncan as their assistant coach. Now, I'm a whole Dallas Mavericks fan. As y'all can tell with the, the third. But damn, that's a good that's a good signing. Um I have a feeling he's gonna end up taking over for Popovich when he leaves. Um I have a feeling that Duncan is gonna be the coach of the future, man. Like he's not he's gonna win championships with San Antonio, he's probably gonna bring them to a couple, so uh, I really like that signing for them. Um, I like that signing for LaMarcus Aldridge. Uh, that means Duncan can work with him in the gym on his post moves. I'm not saying that he needs any help, but, I mean, we all know Tim Duncan's an all-time great with the whole off-the-backboard, back-to-the-basket type of game. So that's pretty dope. And um, also, guys, the, the big threes in the NBA, like, who do you guys think has the best big three? You know, you got the Lakers with uh, AD, Kuzma, Braun. You got the Rockets with Capella, Harden, Westbrook. 
You got the Clippers. You got uh, Lou Will. You got Kawhi. You got Paul George. You got uh, the Portland Trailblazers with Nurkic, C.J. McCollum, and Lillard. So I mean, we got a lot of big. We got a uh, we have Sixers with Simmons and Bead and Horford or Harris, however you want to put it. So. Y'all said <laughs> the NBA got rid of these, you know, teams with all these stars, but a lot of teams still got three stars, man. I mean, not superstars, but a lot of teams still got three stars. Um, I'm going to say myself that I think LeBron James and Anthony Davis are going to be the most unstoppable duo that we've seen in a couple of years. Maybe since LeBron and Wade, we all know how that duo was. Uh, when LeBron gets somebody he likes to play with, uh, he usually acts a donkey, and he might win MVP this year. That's, that's, that's just my opinion. I mean, trust me, I, I'm a Maverick fan, so I'm a Laker hater. Kobe dropped 65 on us before, so I'm going to always hate the Lakers. But, hey, man, I'm a sports talk person, so I'm not going to be biased towards anything. Um, I'm going to freestyle it from my notes a little bit. Um, Yeah, man, uh, I've seen that uh, Le'Veon Bell... He's in a uh, training camp. He didn't. He didn't uh, arrive, and he's. They got him on a pitch count. Um, who, who else did I want to talk about? And it's on the tip of my tongue. Excuse me, guys, for how raw this is. But um, right, Z, 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 Z. Let me talk to you, bro. Let me talk to you. What the fuck are you doing, bro? Like. Come on, man. I was trying to save this rant, but what the fuck are you doing, bro? We right here to the Super Bowl, bro, and you want to start this shit when Dak's supposed to get his money. You fucking overprivileged, half-shirt-wearing, big fro, cookie monster-looking-ass nigga. Bro, just play ball. Like, I, we've been dealing with losing for 20 years, bro. We haven't been to the Super Bowl. Like, bro... Play ball. Go to training camp. Stay your fat, chubby ass in shape. Come on, Zeke. Come on, bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing, man? We got a, a walking dead looking owner. We got a fucking clapping coach. We got a quarterback who can't throw past 15 to 20 yards. We need you, you fucking tart. What are you doing, man? I'm sorry, guys. That's a little of my cowboy passion coming out. But this motherfucker, Zeke, man. In my notes right here, I got, fuck Zeke, fuck Zeke, fuck Zeke, because this is bullshit, man. We should be looking forward to having a dominant team, but instead we're worrying about this motherfucker flying out the country, and hopefully he don't beat up another security guard or some shit like that. God damn. Fuck. Uh, Mike Tomlin received a uh, one-year extension on his, on his deal to make it the same as uh, Big Ben, so... I guess you could say in like 10, 2021 is going to be the last time we're going to see Tomlin and Big Ben. I think he'll retire in two years. So that's that's news. Um, <clears throat> Michael Thomas is holding out now. He said uh, he wants to get paid like $20 million a year. So that's that's news for New Orleans. Well, you know, the the, the Saints or whatever. Like, <laughs> I, I, I like Drew Brees. I like... Kamara, but I hate the Saints and I hate their fans. Um, Rupa, I'm looking in this camera and I'm looking strictly at you, bro. I'm from Louisiana too. You know, I follow my uncles. I was raised basically by my mama and my grandmother. My uncles took over and they put me on their team, but Rupa, look, look at me when I'm talking. The Saints are shits, bro. They're shits. You hear what I'm saying? Like, they're shits, bro. Y'all let that one little Super Bowl go to y'all heads. Now, every time y'all eat a bowl of fucking gumbo, y'all probably sitting up there, who that, who that, who that? Look, listen, listen here, bro. Fuck the Saints. Fuck who that nation. Fuck them. Like T. Ward say, fuck the Golden Girl Saints. Fuck y'all, man. That's deeply from the bottom of my heart. Fuck the Saints. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Um... Uh, in other news, uh, Kendrick Perkins, uh, Kerr had made a little comment in a magazine. Steve Kerr was like, you know, he don't like the players doing what they're doing with their contracts and everything. And, you know, whenever their contract's not done, they just making, they're forcing their way out. He doesn't like it. 
And Kendrick Perkins got on his ass. He was like, look, bro, you can't say nothing about nobody going anywhere when you had added Kevin Durant to a 73-9 and team. Like, you should shut up. And plus, that's Mark, Mark Jackson's team that he assembled. Like, Kendrick went off on him, like, told him to just, just hush down. Like, you, you working with Mark Jackson talent that he drafted, not anything you drafted. So he kind of he kind of shitted on him with that. And um, with that coming up, guys, um, you guys let me know what's your favorite football team in the comments. You guys let me know who do y'all expect to be in the Super Bowl. My Super Bowl prediction is Cowboys versus Patriots. Um, you know, that's just me. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. Either Cowboys versus Patriots or Cowboys versus Chiefs. Uh, no damn way do I see Oakland doing anything. No cap. Fuck Oakland. Um, let me see what I'm going to piss my, I'm gonna piss my boys off with that. But, um, you know, like I said, man, um, this is basically, I call it sports talk, but I need to call it sports ramble because I ramble. I just be talking off my head. Uh, I have a couple of notes, but, you know, just going, going off my head most of the time because I just like to record. But, you know, uh, Cowboys Nation, Dallas Cowboys for life. Touch Dak, you gonna die. All those hashtags. Y'all keep repping the Cowboys, all my Cowboy fans. Um, I'm gonna have more sports talk for you guys, uh, more rants, and uh, it's your boy.